Kid News fans, tired of advertisements? We get it, but we also have to keep the lights on. There's a way around them, though. Parents can join StarGlow Plus on Apple Podcasts or at StarGlowMedia.com slash subscribe to ditch the commercials and unlock access to future bonus episodes and other exclusive content from the StarGlow Media Network. That's StarGlow Plus on Apple Podcasts or at StarGlowMedia.com slash subscribe. Now, on to the news. Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Kim. Today is Thursday, January 18th, 2024. And we begin with some barking going on over the title given to the world's oldest dog. Guinness Records says the honor awarded last February to Bobby, a 31-year-old pooch from Portugal, is now under review. According to the Associated Press, veterinarians are questioning the likelihood of that breed reaching 31. When the common life expectancy for a Raffaro Dualentejo like Bobby is only 10 to 14 years. Bobby's human says it's because Bobby, who has since crossed over the Rainbow Bridge, was never leashed or chained and was one of a kind. But Wired Magazine reported last month that the dog's age had no independent or government verification beyond his owner's word. Guinness says no action will be taken until its review is complete. California's attempt to ban tackle football for kids under 12 is going nowhere. In a statement yesterday, Governor Gavin Newsom said that while he's concerned about the health of young athletes, he won't sign the bill. Instead, he says he'll work with the legislature to make the game safer, while also protecting the freedom of parents to choose which sports are most appropriate for their kids. Those who wanted the ban were concerned about injuries, especially to the head and brain. Other states, like New York and Illinois, have also tried to sack the game, but those efforts also went down in defeat. In other sports news, a new teenage sensation is shocking the tennis world down under. 16-year-old Mira Andreeva wiped out number six seed and three-time Grand Slam finalist Ons Jabur yesterday in the second round of the Australian Open. The Russian took just 54 minutes to claim her 6-0, 6-2 victory over the 29-year-old Tunisian. According to CNN, the win makes Andreeva the youngest player in the Open era to win a 6-0 opening set against a top-10 seed at a Grand Slam. The young player says she looks up to Jabur because of the way she's on the court and off the court. She's so nice. Greenland's ice cap appears to be more in jeopardy than previously thought. A new study published in the journal Nature shows the ice sheet losing an average of 30 million tons of ice an hour due to rising global temperatures. That's 20% more than prior studies showed, and according to the European Space Agency, would equal an ice cube as large as Manhattan and as tall as Mount Everest. The findings were made through new satellite imagery that captures not just sea level rise, but also the ice melt around the margins and below sea level. A NASA scientist and lead author of the study said the findings are significant because once the ice melts, it adds a large amount of fresh water to the ocean, potentially weakening an important ocean current system which could disrupt global weather patterns, ecosystems, and food security. In business news, if you'd like your OJ without AI, Tropicana is pitching an answer. According to CNN, the company has created limited edition bottles removing the letters A and I from its name to highlight the fact that there is nothing artificial in its orange juice. Some were handed out at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, and about 100 more have been hidden in grocery stores across the country. One marketing official described the campaign as an effort to underline the natural nature of its products, trying to gel with the consumer desire for products free of artificial ingredients. Still ahead, an important note for those who listen to Kid News on Apple Podcasts. But first, we want to wish a big happy 11th birthday to Killian in Raleigh, North Carolina. Your mom, dad, and big brother Finn want you to know that you are loyal, thoughtful, and brave. And they appreciate how you keep their lives full of energy and laughter. Happy birthday, Killian. Now, today's Kid News Quiz. What Guinness World title is now under official review? (laughs) 
oldest dog, given last year to Portuguese pooch Bobby, whose owner says he was 31. California's governor says he will veto what bill. One that would ban tackle football for kids under 12. How old is the Russian tennis player who just upset the sixth seed at the Australian Open? Sixteen. How much ice is Greenland's ice cap losing every hour, according to a new study? Thirty million tons. In today's Kid News Kicker, the Hoosier State is never one to waste an opportunity to remind visitors of its love for basketball. The Indianapolis airport has installed a full-length basketball court complete with glass backboards, shot clocks, and hardwood right in the middle of a terminal. According to USA Today, the court was built to honor the NBA All-Star Game in February, which will be hosted by the Indiana Pacers. While it might sound fun to play some five-on-five while waiting for your flight, the airport says the court won't ever see competition due to injury risk to players and passengers who could be hit by a runaway ball. Fans will be allowed to take photos. Thanks again to the Halpin Clark family of Raleigh, North Carolina for underwriting today's quiz. Shout out to Killian for his birthday and hello to his teacher, Mrs. Hahn, and all his friends at Abbott's Creek. A quick note to our listeners. Apple Podcasts' latest update means you may not be getting all of our episodes. Please visit the Kid News page on Apple and look for a check mark next to following. If there's one there, you're all set. But if you see either a follow button or a pause icon, click on it to re-follow Kid News and be sure to select Turn On Automatic Downloads. We'll put more information in an email and on our website. Lastly, high fives to our Kid News classrooms, Mrs. McCabe's Bulldogs at Bell School in Papillon, Nebraska, Mrs. Monroe's Apaches at Fairview in Sherwood, Ohio, and from our parent council, Ms. Nibbet and Mr. Ladigan's Roadrunners at Ephesus School in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Thanks for listening. Please rate, review, subscribe, and share Kid News with all your friends and family. And we'll see you back here for more Kid News tomorrow morning. <laughs>